What's up guys? Uh, it's been a little while since I did a video clip on this whole engine upgrade process. Um, so if I repeat a couple things, I apologize. I'll try to uh, edit it out, but I just got to a point where I was having to custom fabricate a little bit of stuff and um, some things didn't fit right. One aspect that I ran into that was a little frustrating is the whole kit says that it's good for a lifted golf cart and it is however um, the engine that that they've that they're using it's really low profile it's built to be like smashed in there if you have a non-lifted golf cart <clears throat> and what I ended up having to do was put a three inch riser on the engine from their uh, mounting bracket so it's kind of silly because the bracket's sitting lower, but then I'm lifting it up so the engine sits higher. Kind of wasted draft, if you know what I mean, but not a huge issue. Um, um, so if I if I so what led me to have to do that was where the engine, how low the engine was sitting. One, the oil filter without that lift you know when you lift it it kind of comes up and back because that tension on the belt so the where the engine was sitting the oil filter was right up against the engine compartment wall so you could never change the oil filter without you know unbolting the engine moving it back which is that's ridiculous um and then the forward and reverse throttle cables on the rear differential they were kind of getting smashed um, on the like valve housing kind of thing of the engine so I probably could have put it in like that but I don't know I was having a problem getting the belt to have a, a decent tension on it at that point too and then no I couldn't have done it because with that the exhaust that they send was sitting so low it was probably about an eighth of an inch maybe a quarter inch I, I wouldn't say a quarter inch but from the belt and then uh, I was almost positive once the uh, centrifugal clutch closes up that belt height raises so I was sure it was gonna rub on the exhaust so it needed to come up <clears throat> that's just a tidbit that I didn't know I didn't see anywhere I didn't read it anywhere but yeah, it just, if someone else could figure out a way to put it in there without doing it, I don't know. Um, I thought about like cutting their mount and just welding in a riser and putting it back on, but it was way easier just to get um, some square steel. I actually got um, about two lengths of inch and a half square steel with the perforations in it. Um, and just raising it up two of those and it worked fine um, and I'll show you guys too other than that you know it's just kind of some scratching your head stuff if, if I had a video or something of someone showed me the whole thing but everything I saw was like oh yeah fit great good thanks guys um, and the guys there were pretty good I wouldn't say they were great you know um, they kind of have a mentality like hey you should really be a mechanic if you're doing this so they'll work with you, but they, like I sent him some pictures, so I was trying to explain something, and he's like, no, that's not, that couldn't happen. Send him pictures, like, oh yeah, I see. Um, but all in all, decent. I mean, uh, that, the one part that I had, that the, the holes were just bored off wrong. The guy, over, they overnighted it, and I had the, like two days later, or one day, I don't know, something like that. Um, Anyways, this video is probably going to rattle on a little more because I just want to walk you guys through things. It's not exactly just the fast pace. Okay, yank this out, yank that out, and do this, and you're good. It didn't. It's not a plug-and-play system, man. Um, I would venture to say that everyone's probably going to have a little customization. Um, so I don't. I don't think you necessarily have to be a full-on mechanic, but. You definitely need to know electrical theory um, and just some basic mechanic 
Uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say, man. I don't think you need to be a mechanic to do it, but you definitely need some back, a little bit of skills with it, or someone who come on and be like, oh yeah, do this, you know. Um, got some rambling already. It goes fast, man. <laughs> it goes a lot faster than I had anticipated. Part of that is because my secondary clutch on the, the back uh, differential, um, the guy had pointed out when I sent him some pictures, normally they're an eight inch for some reason, maybe the previous owners or whatnot, I don't know, but mine's a 10 inch. So that was part of the reason that that exhaust was sitting so close. Um, but that said, if it wasn't that big, then the engine would sit further up for that belt, all that tension to go somewhere, you know? Um, yeah, it goes fast. Um, or I'll start it here in a minute. It's a little louder. I mean, it sounds like a, a gator or something now. It's, it doesn't, it's not, <laughs> it's not a golf cart anymore, man. My wife got on it with me and she just kind of shook her head and she was like, this is ridiculous. Cause it goes fast. Um, I, I haven't even opened it up all the way. I probably went to about two thirds of the, the throttle cable, um, which was interesting to try to get just right, but it would be in anything. But yeah, it's moving fast. Anyways, man, I'll walk you guys through it. All right, open it up. So you can see it fits in there pretty good. Um, it's definitely a low profile engine. It's got a huge slant to that piston. I mean, I don't, I don't think I've ever seen an engine that has that big of a slant. Um, but some of the things I would point out is the whole wiring unit that went over here. Um, it's underneath this piece. Sorry, chicken toes over. Um, all comes out. You don't need it. None of it. Um, as far as the customized like lift stuff, get the light down in here. So, ah. sorry man, bear with me. So you can see. All right, there you go. So those couple it's just that perforated square steel. I just stacked two of them on top, lifted the whole plate, and it lifted the whole engine. What I was trying to say about the oil filter, um, the oil filter was sitting like right against the front of the engine compartment, but now I have enough space to take it off, which is cool. The part that I was saying about the exhaust, the exhaust right there, it was sitting right above the the belt. Ah. Sorry, man. I'm a total professional with this. So, it was sitting right on top of the belt right there. And now I have about two fingers of clearance. Um, the other part that was getting smashed is back down in the bottom. You can't really see it in here, but these throttle cables back here yeah you're not gonna be able to see it but anyways they were they were sitting right under here and just kind of getting smashed up <clears throat> um one other part that you really want to watch out for try to get the light back there is there's I don't know if you can see it. I'm trying to find it on the video. There we go. See that spacer? I actually used one of the one inch, well it said one inch, but they're a little bigger. And I ended up cutting off probably about a quarter inch of it to get that space between there. Cause what you don't want to do is mount up your exhaust on here and then totally crank I mean, that, that was that was at least an inch you don't want to crank that thing way over because then you're going to misalign your exhaust 
and e you'll end up with like backfire type stuff. <clears throat> so just a key point to point out. Um, I don't know if I said it earlier, but something you want to do before you put this engine in, if it, uh, I mean, <clears throat> you're probably at the point where this engine needs to get changed. So with that, probably got shocks and stuff. I changed the shocks. The shocks are back in there and they'd be a lot more difficult to get to with the engine in the way. So I did those in the interim. The choke right here, flimsy little plastic piece and the old one used to be over here. So I'm gonna have to figure out a way to wire it and fabricate something so I can have a pull frame here. So that's just something to keep in mind. Some people, I, I, I think I've seen them put electrical ones in. That might be an option. Uh, there's all the governor stuff and whatnot that was underneath the tarp here. You can take out those little connectors. Like I left this on here just because I didn't want to take it off, but that whole reverse beeping, um, just unwired it, don't, don't really need it. <clears throat> Other than that, the like lining up right here with the back of that secondary clutch was there's there's no like perfect scientific method way to do it i took a straight edge and tried to straight edge from a little bit up on this because this thing is going to ride up it's it's going to have a little bit there's just no perfect way to do it that's all i'm saying just try to get it as best as you can with the knowledge that this is going to squeeze in this way so your belt will float over this way just a little bit and while I'm here, the throttle linkage is a little interesting. I don't know if I did it the, the... I don't know if I'm super happy with the way that I did it. I don't necessarily like that there's a drop here. It drops down. I did use the piece they they sent, bored out a hole, and then put the um, like pinch clip underneath. And it's working. Um, but it shouldn't be so sensitive but it really is like so if i pull it up and you let go of it there's a little bit of flex that way and it makes a huge difference in your rpms um but that's just going to take some fine tweaking uh fuel lines everything like that wasn't too bad um don't forget this right here this comes with a plug on it this is your um, gear house like vacuum to actually pump the the diaphragm for the fuel pump. I forgot that for a minute. And like, Why is it not pumping? <clears throat> so we'll give it a little test run. Sometimes it's a little hard starting and I have to play with the foot pedal, but I just started it at once and well, I had to use both hands, but I should start right up. up this whole project um, hopefully this helped you helps you guys if it does great man um, I wish I had something to go off of when I was doing it and I'm down to answer questions if you guys have them just post them on there um, let you guys know what I think by no means a professional or anything but uh, yeah all in all it's good all right guys take it easy